I have my technician, Alicia. Hello. She helps me with my patients. Hi. This is Kevin. Kevin is our patient for today. He's our favorite little cat. And we're going to be demonstrating how to obtain a blood sugar from his ear and measuring the sugar on the glucose monitoring device. So the first thing we'll do is, you know, of course, love on Kevin, make sure he's in a good, happy place. But I want to prepare my glucose monitor. And we do that by inserting these little strips into the device. So once you insert the strip into the glucometer or the glucose device, you'll see that it pops up a number and the code. That matches to the container. So for dogs, it says 35, and for cats, it's 37. So for your cat, you want to make sure that the code is set to 37, and it is. And once that code is set, it's ready to receive the drop of blood. My spot that I like to use will be the ear, and this is the pinna, and around the pinna, there's a very thin vein. It's nice to have direct sunlight or flashlight shine against the ear because it'll highlight that vein. We have these little lancets, and these lancets are used to help poke the ear vein. These little lancets can be attached to a lancet device, or you can just use it manually. It's okay, honey. Good job, Kevin. Good job, Kevin. Oh, there job, we go. Kevin. We place the sensor right against the drop of blood. There's a little black strip. And you'll hear a little beep. That means you got the blood. You want to hold the ear and make sure that the bleeding stops. His blood sugar is 98, so that's normal. He's in good diabetic control. Some other tips you can do while holding the ear to make sure that you're stopping the blood is petting him and then offering him a treat. That really helps to make him feel comfortable and at ease, and it helps to facilitate the next blood draw. Mm -hmm. 